Hello everybody and welcome to your second guitar lesson. Um, thank you so much for following me and subscribing. I hope within an, in most probably a month you'll be able to play most of the songs you want to and I'll run through a few songs with you later on. Um, guys, unfortunately I decided to do these guitar lessons on a Friday and we've got garden service on a Friday, we've got a house being built next to us. I, it just doesn't stop there. Um, okay, let's get straight into it. I hope you practiced your G chord of the first episode. And guys, if you're struggling to find the first episode, don't feel bad, I struggled. I never knew there were 50 million, gazillion, trillion people doing guitar lessons online. I thought I'm gonna be one of 10 if I type in guitar lessons or guitar lessons for beginners. I thought that I would be under the first five thumbnails coming up, obviously not. Well, last week we did G, right? I hope you all practiced the G chord. Today, it's another hardest one, but it's, it's getting easier, 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 and it's very close to G. So we are going to use three chords in this one. And remember, when I talk about the fingers, I don't talk about this as a second finger. I, I talk about this as the first finger, the thumb doesn't count. Second finger, third finger, fourth finger. And we're only going to be using the bottom three strings, right? If you remember the rhyme that I did in episode one, every boy gives Dora a earring, to remember the string, so it's every, E, B, boy, G, gives, Dora, A, earring. So that's how I remember the string's names. Okay, so what we're going to be using here is the first three strings from the bottom. We're going to be using the E for every. We're going to be using the B for boy. We're going to be using the G for gives. Okay, so only the bottom three strings. So when you strum this chord, you're gonna try not and use not to use the top top strings like there, right? You're only gonna start using about the bottom four, the bottom four strings to strum this chord. Okay, and what's gonna be nice is we're gonna if you practice this week, obviously, we're gonna be able to move from G to D. And also, if you remember last week, we did um, I know it was stupid, but we did um, Myriad Little Lamb without the D and this time we can actually do the whole myriad little lamb with G and D okay so it's getting better in, in months time you'll be able to play a bunch of songs okay so you practice G and now to show you how D works okay so on the bottom E string which is the bottom bottom one little thin one we're gonna go to the second sound bar and we're gonna use our second finger. I can't show it just on its own. So we're going to use the second finger, which is that one, right? So we're going to put that at the bottom on the second sound bar. And then we're going to take our pointy finger and move it two strings up to the G string. Okay, so we're going to move that to the G string. So two strings up. Let's just get closer. So if I just do the G string, it'll just be that one. So it's one, two, three. And then the bottom one. And then the middle one on the third sound bar. We're going to use a ring finger or our, our third finger in this case. And that's going to be... Now remember, it's very important to bend your wrist and not to touch other strings while you do this. We will later on get into guitar tuning, which is pretty simple. I'll show you the machine way and I'll show you the way to do it by ear. But we'll, that'll, that's for another episode. I want to keep this pretty simple before I live in South Africa. So our lights might go off and our power might go off now now. They said in about a half hour's time, so I need to upload this quickly. Okay, so if you strum it down, that's what, you, that's what you're going to hear. But if you touch two chords at once, unfortunately, it's going to have that kind of sound. Okay, so try third string, first string, second string. Okay, in the, first, in the second and the third um, sound bars. Again, I'm going to... Right, okay, so now I'm going to keep it right there. Erin, thank you for your comment. Guys, if you want to comment below, please, please do. Um, doesn't matter, bad or good, it doesn't matter. Erin, um, thank you for your message, and I hope your new guitar brings you million, million hours of joy. And um, yeah, thanks for commenting. And thanks for doing this whole lesson procedure with me. Okay, so we got D. And we got G. Okay, so what I want you to do at the end of this week, by the end of, by, by next Friday, I want you to be able to go from G to, to D. Okay, let's not, 
nothing fancy. Okay, just G, D. Okay, we'll get to all the fancy little bits later. Right, guys, that's it. And I hope you have a blessed and amazing, amazing weekend. See you guys later. But before I go, I need to do, I just forgot actually. I need to do Mary Had a Little Lamb for you guys with these two chords now. You remember last week we did Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb, Mary had a little lamb, his fleece was white as snow. <laughs> right, so now we're going to do it with the two chords. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb, Mary had a little lamb, his fleece was white as snow. Okay, so it's just G and D. I promise you better songs will come. Keep it up, guys, and keep practicing. See you next Friday. Cheers!